we're living in very strange times. Strange times indeed. And you have to ask yourself, when does it change? What happens? Where is the point at which the country suddenly comes back from this death spiral? Now, you might say that the women winning in California and in other states, Republican women, could be a good sign that the Tea Parties have finally had the effect. Never mind what the pimps for the Democrat Party on television say. The low life, uh, you take a, you take a procurer of women on the lowest street in your town and they have more honor than guys like Chris Matthews, in my opinion. How in the world can they get a job on television when they work for the Democrat Party? Right in their eyes, they see Whitman win, they see Fiorina win, and they say it's nothing. They don't count. They beat, they beat Republican men. I don't know, maybe that's the turning point. I don't expect miracles from them any more than I expected them from Scott Brown in Massachusetts. I didn't expect it because I watched too many episodes of uh, the bro of Brotherhood on, on Showtime to, to, to expect more from a politician, a lifetime politician. Doesn't mean he's a bad guy. He's just part of the system. Anyone in part of the system is going to behave the way the system wants them and expects them to behave. Don't you understand that? So we see, well, they're outsiders in a way. Meg Whitman is an outsider. She's a billionaire who made her money on her own. No one gave it to her. I mean, think about it. So at least she can bring business sense to the office. All right. So let's see she wins. Let's see Fiorina knocks that hag from Brooklyn out finally. She can go back and run a girdle shop on Prospect Avenue. She'd be better off than being a U.S. senator. Two Carvel stands she should have run in her life, Barbara Boxer. The most in my day a woman like Barbara Boxer ever would have had was a chain of Carvel stands. Two tops. Two. A senator for all these years. An anti-American, anti-military, anti-police senator. I can't believe it. So maybe we've seen a turning point, but we don't know it. We're too close to it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we've seen the turning point, but we don't know it. So I have no further comments to make, Your Honor. But I would like to say in my closing argument that we are living in strange times. When we could have a man without any experience whatsoever, with no known background whatsoever, be foisted upon us as president, Your Honor, and show one incompetence after another, Your Honor, and continue to get away with it, Your Honor.